So the other day I posted a video about our new motor grader tires that we're developing. I got a lot of responses from the armchair engineers and experts out there saying, oh, this has been done before. This is nothing new, nothing special. Bruh. Well, guess what? That's bullshit. And this is why. This is our 17.525 tire on a dyno going 40 mile an hour. We put this onto a frame that we custom built. We modified a square body frame. It's a GM 14 bolt rear end. And check this out, we even did some pretty cool farmer tech engineering so that we could extra weight this frame and get the weight that we wanted to on these tires to do this test. That's an 800 pound tire spinning at 40 mile an hour. This is not the tire that's on your Toyota Corolla as you're going to Starbucks in the morning to get your little macchiato coffee. This thing is built to go. And we're doing this because we want to make sure that our customers are gonna be safe as they're roading a, a tire on a, on a grader. Like, the graders are gonna go 25, 28 mile an hour, and we gotta make sure that we know how that tire is gonna behave as it's going down the road. It's not gonna come apart, it's not gonna overheat, how much load can we put on it, what speed rating do we gotta put on it. Nobody's doing this in the market on a tire of this size. It's just not happening. You're not seeing airless tires that are being designed to go down the road to be used in the dirt, to be used in the mud, and this is different. So this is what we're doing, and we're doing this on our backhoe tires, our wheel loader tires, now into the greater tires. Do you see a trend happening here?